Some people like maple syrup on their pancakes. I like it in my medicine. Ever since I was a kid, waffles have remained at the top of my favorite breakfast foods. But if I'm being honest, I really like waffles as an effective delivery system for maple syrup. And while these days I'm trying to cut back on the amount of sugar I eat, it turns out maple syrup can do a whole lot more than make your breakfast sweeter. For example, down at the molecular level, you'll find a substance called Quebecol in maple syrup. Yes, the substance takes its name from Quebec, the Canadian region that provides more maple syrup than any other place in the world. And Quebecol is medicinally useful. It has anti-inflammatory qualities, which means it can help reduce swelling and pain. Interestingly, Quebecol doesn't appear to be present in maple sap itself. Instead, it seems this substance is a product of the the syrup making process. Since its discovery, scientists have developed synthetic versions that have an even greater anti-inflammatory effect. Maple syrup's virtues don't stop there. In 2015, a group of scientists in Japan published a paper indicating that the phenolic compounds in maple syrup could inhibit cell division for certain types of cancer. Phenolic, by the way, refers to crystalline compounds inside the syrup. The research was on colorectal cancers, but the researchers pointed out that previous work had found maple syrup to have a similar effect on prostate, lung, and breast cancer. The researchers also found that the darker the color of the syrup, the greater it inhibited cancer cell growth rates. In case you weren't aware, maple syrup comes in several grades, from AA, which is extra light, down to D, which is dark. Typically, you get darker syrups later in the maple syrup season, which is a thing I didn't even know existed before now. The scientists wanted to eliminate the possibility that it was just the high sugar content of maple syrup inhibiting cancer cell division. Through their tests, they determined that maple syrup was actually suppressing the signaling pathway for AKT. That's a protein that plays a key role in lots of cellular processes, including cellular division. So maple syrup can inhibit cancers and has anti-inflammatory properties. Can it do anything else? The answer is yes. It also has been found to boost the effectiveness of antibiotics. Now we use antibiotics to treat bacterial infections, but you've probably heard that this is risky because it can lead to superbugs. A superbug is essentially a population of bacteria that has developed a resistance to antibiotics. If you become infected with such bacteria, a course of antibiotics might not be enough to help you get better. This gets pretty dangerous very quickly. But as it turns out, maple syrup has components in it that can boost how well antibiotics work. In fact, a research team from McGill University discovered that if they augmented a course of antibiotics with an extract from maple syrup, they didn't need to use nearly as much medicine to get rid of the bacteria. In fact, with the right mixture, they could reduce the amount of antibiotics by as much as 90% and still get the effect of a full dose. According to the researchers, the extract from maple syrup affected the permeability of the bacterial cell walls, allowing antibiotics a way in. And honestly, who could blame the bacteria? Maple syrup is delicious. I find it pretty hard to resist too. The bottom line is that maple syrup continues to surprise us with interesting applications beyond breakfast. Now, this doesn't mean you can chug a bottle of syrup and everything will be groovy. But it could lead to some new treatments in medicine that could save countless lives. So here's to you, maple syrup. Question for you guys. Tell me what the breakfast of the future looks like in your imagination. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring our show. If you enjoyed what you saw, hit that little like button right down there. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to join the forward thinking think tank. See you in the future.